Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting over the last couple of months, Microsoft is currently testing a new One Outlook email app. With Microsoft 365 Insiders in the beta and preview channels. And this Outlook app will be very similar to the online version and um, the, the web version of the app, and will be basically a PWA, a progressive web app. And as mentioned in that previous video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, um, Microsoft is making the new Outlook um, app available to more people over the next months. Now, um, the latest um, in regards to the new One Outlook, which is still in preview, is that um, Microsoft has now confirmed that uh, starting in April of this year, so that's April of 2023, um, they are going to start rolling out the new Outlook app or experience as they're calling it, using a toggle as we can see in the screenshot provided to current channel users in April. And uh, that means that um, um, that rollout is expected to complete uh, by the end of April for current channel users. So um, it gives you a choice. You don't have to toggle the switch on. But just remember, if you try the new Outlook, then you will be moved over to the new one Outlook, which will replace the existing uh, stock email app on Windows. So just take note of that. And uh, um, basically, Microsoft will eventually replace the existing Outlook app with the new one. So if you click that toggle, you'll move over automatically to the new one Outlook. So just take note of that. Now, um, the rollout is expected to be complete for current channel users, um, as mentioned, before the end of April. And Microsoft has mentioned um, in that confirmation that enterprise channel users, um, that rollout will start um, in early May and will be completed by the end of June. So basically, this rollout for current channel users and enterprise channel users will be taking place over the course of April and May of this year. Now, um, some of the um, basically new features that the new Outlook app will introduce um, compared to the old Outlook app, as many of you may know by now who have been trying it out in preview, is that Gmail accounts should be introduced um, basically at some point in the future, although this um, isn't exactly confirmed, but you should be able to access a Gmail account from the new Outlook in the future. And then uh, um, some other improvements are that there will be better integration with Microsoft Teams. There will be um, improvements to the calendar with a couple of new features. And I have posted on this previously. So just do a search for One Outlook or Outlook on the channel if you want some more info. And there's also going to be a new way for the app to um, automatically pin an important email to the top of your list, which may be handy um, if you are dealing with a lot of important emails and have a a crowded inbox, so to speak. And there's also going to be new features like loop components and message reminders for important emails. So that's just a couple of the new improvements. But uh, just letting you know, um, if you are following the new One Outlook or the new Outlook for Windows, that it's soon going to be available to more users, um, as mentioned in this video. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.